the hyperdirect pathway uh, is the input to it, the input to the basal ganglia comes from cortex and it comes via myelinated axons. And as opposed to the next pathway that happens, which is the direct pathway, which comes via unmyelinated axons. And because the hyperdirect pathway uses myelinated axons, it happens first. And the point of the hyperdirect pathway is an all stop. So let's just take a look at that. This is uh, what I told you before was that the input to the, stri to the basal ganglia came in through the striatum. This is an exception to that. The input to the hyper, in the case of the hyperdirect pathway, the input comes into the subthalamic nucleus. So M1 is going to project into uh, subthalamic nucleus, and subthalamic nucleus is the only part of the basal ganglia where there is an excitatory uh, neuron. So these are excitatory glutamatergic neurons, and they project off to the output, which I've shown here is globus pallidus internal. It could also be substantia nigra pars reticulata. But in the case of the ocular motor, I'm, I'm sorry, in the case of skeletal motor loop, uh, it's the globus pallidus internal. And from there, uh, these GPI neurons inhibit thalamus, which then go on uh, to contact uh, M1. So what is the effect? You have excitation, excitation, inhibition, excitation. So you have one inhibition, the, the net effect, plus, plus, minus, plus, is minus. This is going to stop movement. Okay? That is, that's the, um, the, the net effect of this. Now, it is in this light that perhaps that, that it is most easily understood that deep brain stimulation to stop tremor is typically done within the subthalamic nucleus, okay? So to stop physiologic, actually to stop um, either uh, the tremor, the resting tremor that's associated with Parkinson's disease, and we'll talk about this more when we talk about Parkinson's disease directly, but also physiological tremor, which is not a basal ganglia disorder, um, uh, but, but can be a very uh, devastating uh, disease. Uh, for both of these, for any type of that type of, of ongoing tremor, uh, uh, the, the stimulation in the subthalamus can, can help. Okay? So it's an all stop, including to that tremor. So the next pathway that we're going to look at is the direct pathway.